Thomas, um, looking at the screen, uh, one hour, six minutes. This is the left-hand side, if you can peer at your screen right now. One hour, six minutes uh, since launch, or one hour, five, I think it is. It's very small. 25 seconds to the drop, we're told. Now, we were told two cameras, one looking at the rocket, one on the rocket itself. They haven't switched those to us yet. No, we, we can hope. Uh, certainly they've managed to do it for previous launches and, and it is, they are spectacular uh, pictures as the rocket uh, races away from Cosmic Girl. Uh, of course, it's very dark uh, and that may uh, reduce the visibility somewhat, but it is extremely bright. Uh, I've, I've seen rocket launches before and the, the flame is uh, as, as bright as the sun. It is quite extraordinary um, as, uh, as it does accelerate. And, and it will be rapid, uh, four second free fall, then it ignites. And then if all systems are, are working properly, it will go. And go where? It will be heading down the South Atlantic, past Portugal, racing down towards Antarctica. Uh, and first stage will burn for three minutes, uh, 8,000 miles an hour. Then it drops away into the, the South Atlantic, uh, while the second stage takes over uh, in the upper atmosphere, uh, accelerating 17,500 miles an hour. And by then, the rocket will be over Antarctica. It will then coast, reaching uh, an altitude of 550 kilometers, and then release when, when it has gone over the, the bottom of the, the planet, up the other side, if you like, over Australia. That's the point where the satellites will be released uh, into orbit, we hope. I don't know how you're multitasking. Is It sounds like you've got a TANI update there while you talk to us. Probably difficult, I guess, to, to hear what they're saying. It looks like we might be getting pictures any moment. I can just see the big screen that the crowd are watching over there, and they've certainly been whooping. I'm not sure whether you've got a better picture. I yeah, can't no, see them all to come. here, unfortunately. It's starting to come. Let's just give it, just give it half a second. Uh, as you say, this burning bright light. Let's just have a look, shall we? You can see now this is an aft camera um, okay. view from the drop. So we have, it looks to be a successful ignition of the stage one engine uh, as we make our way to space. And so, Thomas, what's happening? Is this the, the, the sort of the engine of the rocket warming up, if I can describe it like that? It's actually ignited, so it should be accelerating. Uh, it, it's, it's hard for me to see from, from here, but it, it does look like there, there has been a successful ignition. The engine has fired, uh, so that rocket... Already at the end of the stage one burn, we're hearing. So uh, that rocket is flying down the South Atlantic. Uh, it is doing uh, really well. Uh, so it's been burning now uh, and it's taken it to high altitude. So the second stage will be uh, taking over. Um, that first stage will drop down uh, into the Atlantic. And that's the reason that they've had to, to clear all shipping from the area. Uh, because you certainly wouldn't, that, wouldn't want that splashing down if you were in a boat. Normal so far, we've had our pitch up on the bottom, uh, on the burn time pitch one, you can see on the graphical user interface if you do have that one off. Uh, we have made it through Max Q Alpha, which is one of the most stressful physical uh, moments for the rocket, um, very comfortably through Max Q. Um, and then also through our maximum heat, uh, aerodynamic heat, um, uh, heating. We have made it through Miko, our main engine cutoff, that is our Newton 3 engine, sh engine shutdown, is uh, reported as nominal. And if we can go back to our aft camera. Bearing brake wire is broken. We have stage separation.
you may see dropouts in the data during the flight here. Uh, that is expected as we're switching between the different ground stations that are picking up the signal from the rocket. Thomas, we're going to keep listening to this commentary, certainly. They said there would be Switching some uh, dropouts, but it does appear that it's been successful. Can I glean that, at least? Yes, very much so, that, it, uh, that there's been a, a good, clean burn as this rocket powers down through the Atlantic. We're being told that uh, Cosmic Girl is already on her way back here to Newquay. Of course, that's the advantage. It is the ultimate reusable first stage of a, of a rocket launch. That jumbo jet has already taken off many hundreds of times, uh, and here it comes back uh, to, to, to Newquay, ready to be reused for the next launch.